Hello. I am very happy I can show you this look because I've been waiting for it for quite some time. This is Bravo by Digby Lock and Tools. And look at this cool key as well. And uh, I love the like uh, rays of sun coming out of the plug. It's it's well, it's it's just a beautiful look. Um, Digby Lock and Tool is a small uh, maker of locks. Uh, his first lock was uh, the Alpha, which was a, a lever lock. And now he has come up with Bravo, a pin tumbler lock with six pins. And it's actually it's some kind of um, proof of concept that you can make a lock harder to pick by using uh, very, very tight tolerances uh, when making it. Um, the pins inside are, I think, uh, standard lab pins. Could be some security pins, of course, but they're not, they're not fancy pins. Uh, it's all about being a, being a basic lock, but very well made. Uh, key works very well. So, let's see if I can pick it on camera first and then I will show you more. I did pick it a couple of times off camera before. Uh, oh clock uh, counterclockwise because I didn't manage to open it yet uh, clockwise. I need very light tension, the tensioner is barely falling out. Uh, There's very, very little feedback, all because of the tight tolerances. In a deep faucet now, deep, pretty deep. I won't be picking this lock often because it's just too beautiful uh, and I'd be afraid to uh, to just ruin it by picking it. So I'm also being very careful now. Before the first time I picked it I, I put a I cut a shim to size and put it on the bottom but when I opened it it got stuck I had to disassemble the lock, so well, that wasn't a success. Where am I? I've been talking so much that I forgot. And I'm open. Very little feedback, so you have to be very gentle. Um, you can't bully this lock, but with very little tension and being very careful, it's not the hardest pick. Uh, at least going clockwise, uh, counterclockwise. As you can see, it's open. Now let's got this.
this to the side. Tolerances are so tight, the, the margins, that when I got this, not all the pins want to come out all of the time. But that's okay as long as I can get the springs and the driver pins out. I can just remove the cam and slide the plug out and get the key pins. doesn't want to come out. Even if this may not have been the hardest pick, some locks that just doesn't matter because this isn't just a lock, this really is a piece of art. Uh, I think the design is beautiful. And uh, just the skill one needs to manufacture this there you go it's it's a master in a sense it's a masterpiece in all its simplicity usually I show you the t and I will talk about the, the pins I'm getting out but I'll save that for after I'm done did have some tweezers here because that key pin is sticking out now. Is it a key pin? No. There. That's weird. Oh well. Oh wait, this is the key pin for that one. Before I go further, let's just have a look at this in all its glory. Look at that. Beautiful. And here on the cam, number 21. I don't know exactly how many of these are were made. I think around 70, and this is number 21. Let's remove the cam so I can get the plug out.
go. So the cam comes off. Just look how beautiful this is made. And then I can slide out there. And I see now where this one came from. That should be there because both key pins are still in here. There you go. Nothing, as you can see, nothing special about the plug. No milling, no threading. It's just everything is very tight. This is a very well made lock, and this I will try to pick it counterclockwise uh, or clockwise one more time. And after that, I don't think I'll be picking this lock anymore. It uh, will get a special place in my house so I can watch it, look at it, show it to other people, maybe. Oh, before I stop, just look at this key. Another beautiful. I need to polish it. Beautiful thing. True work of art, if you ask me. Let's show a close up. As you can see, a spool, all the keepings are standard. First driver spool, second standard. Third is pool, four standard, five is uh, serrated, and six is a spool. And I think when picking uh, clockwise, this one is giving me trouble because the feedback is so subtle, it's easy to overset. And going counterclockwise, this binds first, so I can just set it and won't have to fight uh, the serrations and I won't be afraid won't have to be afraid to overset it well I think that's all I want to say about Bravo by Digby so thank you for watching and I'm back real quick because uh, I forgot to answer the question does uh, or do very tight tolerances make uh, a basic lock harder to pick and of course the answer is yes um, because uh, the feedback I got was much more subtle uh, yeah you have to be very precise very light feedback uh, very light tension to set pins or you'll overset. Um, you have to be very precise. But there are some downsides. Um, I noticed after I picked it for the first time, uh, when I tried to pick it again, uh, I only had to set five pins. The driver in the back uh, stayed up uh, that was a spool if I remember correct it stayed up so I didn't have to pick it again uh, probably because of those tight tolerances uh, another thing is that sometimes the key won't work after picking uh, or after a picking attempt probably because a key pin is stuck uh, in the Bible uh, but of course the, the lock is easily gutted so it's very uh, very easily to fix easy to fix um, and this 
block is, isn't meant to be uh, used in a door or anything else. This was designed, this was made to pick and to, well, just to be fucking pretty. Uh, and in that, awesome job. I love it. I really love it. Um, and I think I'm really done talking now. So, have a good day.